Today we're going to be exploring some of the best hikes at Lake Louise. We're going to set off for Lake Agnes Tea House in Mount St. Peran. But this adventure started a week ago where we left Denver, drove up to Yellowstone, and then to the Sawtooth Mountains of Idaho, and then up to Glacier National Park, and now here again in one of our favorite places, Banff National Park. Well, in typical Kevin and Bree fashion, we didn't book anything and last minute hotels were three to five hundred dollars a night. So we had our van and because you can't wild camp or sleep in your car anywhere in Banff National Park, we scrambled to search campgrounds on Google Maps because we had no idea where we were going to sleep, but eventually came across Three Sisters Campground. Of course, as always, didn't plan a single thing. <laughs> we only found out we were coming to Canada, or only decided we were coming to Canada like two weeks ago. So we got really lucky with Three Sisters Campground. It's sick. We had an awesome site for uh, three nights for like 90 Canadian. So really sick, like uh, 70 bucks USD. And hopefully we can get in a, a big first end of our Canadian adventures. This is our fourth trip up to the Canadian Rockies. Favorite place in the world. So stoked to bring you guys along again. This is a horrible start to the morning. There's shit everywhere. Literally <laughs> everywhere. And it's cold. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, God. Let's turn the car on. It's cold. Friends, the parking lot behind me at 6.20 a.m. on Friday, July 28th. So Friday at 6.20 in July, plenty of parking spots. So get here early. we are doing Mount St. Peran. Hopefully, because um, the weather window is short, it looks like it's gonna start raining at 12, and right now the peak's already socked in and it's sunrise, but as you can see, there's no sun, so it must be pretty socked in. So Mount St. Peran starts at Lake Louise. We were able to get parking, and you go up to Mira Lake, Lake Agnes, and then at the tea house at Lake Agnes, you go straight up to Mount St. Peran. Last year, if you can see, this bubble looking thing. That's the big beehive, <laughs> excuse me, two years ago we did that. So we have a video on that. So the beginning of this trail is gonna be the same, but yeah, hopefully get a little bit higher this time. Should be pretty sick. We uh, we've had a rough <laughs> last few days. We didn't really film any of it, but we had a flat tire, which was, then we put on the donut, which was also flat. And we had a third tire where the steel or whatever material it is in tires started to come out. So we almost had a third flat and found out our alignment is messed up. Our ball joints are messed up and we just fixed our brakes and did all this. So we're about a thousand dollars in the hole right now. But you know, as long as we can get in a few more hikes, hopefully we can say it'll all be worth it. But yeah, heading up 6.30. Hopefully we can get this summit before the storms today. first destination on the trail which is so beautiful it's called mirror lake right behind me and then that is the big beehive which we did two summers ago and then way back there is mount st Peran, where we're going um yeah really cool stop it's nice that along this trail and the beehive trail you get a few lakes as well
Okay, we made it to Lake Agnes. This is right behind me, and then there's this amazing tea house right here, which we've seen before. Um, we didn't make it last time because they were closed, but they, I think, have like tea, obviously, and other little refreshments. So maybe we'll hit that on the way back. That's the devil's thumb, and that's the big beehive, and we're going somewhere up there. So behind me, typically, there's a massive, giant, aqua blue lake with a really bougie hotel, and it's a great view. So, things aren't looking good at the moment, but we're still going and cruising. You cannot see a thing around us, so. There's 4 a.m. wake-up call admission. I hope it isn't all for nothing. Oh my gosh, I see like wetness in the air. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, it's so humid. Yeah, it's like humid, we're in the clouds. We're just like wet, I don't know. Can't see where we came from. Can't see where we're going. It's lovely. I heard this is prime conditions for bears. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> Kevin's terrified of bears. <laughs> Oh, you could just see it. Pretty much just going right there but steep. So as soon as we turned onto this trail, it, uh, it got pretty overgrown. It's not really that overgrown, but like compared to the other trails. And there's a lot of kind of just brush sticking into the trail. So we're getting soaked because everything's wet from this weird mist and last night's rain. Wet. Hard to see, but that's soaked. This is dripping. Everything is super dewy and just, yeah so much moisture, we're getting wet and it's pretty cold, so it'll be nice at the summit. <laughs> Lake Louise, which sucks because I cannot even imagine how cool this would be. Still very cool. You oh, give me some boo. How you feeling? Good. I'm pretty pissed. You can't see anything, honestly. <laughs> but freezing. We can't see a thing. And we're wet, and we hiked up here for nothing. If you're still watching through this whiteout, thank you. Um, but to give you guys some entertainment, let's visually transport you to the top of the big beehive two years ago. enjoyed that. The big beehive is sick. For now, we're gonna head down to the tea house, maybe get some tea or some snacks because it is freezing cold up here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head down. Kind of a buzzkill, but at least we got a new summit in up in Banff.
been through here, which is this is like the fourth time there's been no one here. So this is a little shocking for us. I'm not surprised, but still. That was crazy. Um, we saw that line of 100 people and beelined it past. There's no shot we're waiting in that. <laughs> It'd be cool, but we just, we have a huge weekend ahead backpacking if, that we'll tell you about later, so. If you, you had any sort of visibility of the peaks in the lake, I think I would have considered it, but no, shot just for a tea. Also, the tea house looks like it had food, it smelled like it had food, like a bunch of breakfast type things, obviously tea, I'm sure coffee, hot chocolate, stuff like that. So it's not just some hot tea, it looks really amazing and we had the full intention of going there on our way home, or on our way back down, but yeah, we still have the time and we want to get back and we're wet from our hike. So. I ever finished our video earlier because we rushed to get bagels in Lake Louise Village and they were just incredible. Bree and I are now packing up for our next adventure, which you can see in another video. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you later. Bye.